We love our superhero games and we definitely love when they feature the X-Men. Mutant Apocalypse is one of our favorites on the Super Nintendo, and we wish that there would be more games like it on the newer systems. Instead, we get sequels to games like Marvel Ultimate Alliance that try to put all our heroes in one big cluster. We appreciate the attempt, but it's not as good as it could be with all that hero and villain talent. So this time, the X-Men once again blindly follow Professor X to the island prison of Genosha, where a whole bunch of dangerous crap is going on. You can be any one of the X-Men and take them on their individual missions. We picked our favorite, Beast, and we got to climb on some walls and blow up a Gundam. Then we die. You get a few tries after killing off the X-Men, but make sure that you save certain ones, like Gambit and Psylocke. They're crucial for boss fights, like the impossible one against Omega Red. And you can easily slip up and watch them eat it hard. Professor X gives each character an assignment to infiltrate the island prison, and you can only advance in the game after beating each character's first stage. After that, the game starts getting much more fun as you make your way to Apocalypse. We kicked his ass in like three seconds. So you think a game called Mutant Apocalypse would be over once Apocalypse has been defeated, right? Well, out pops Magneto! Not just him, but the Juggernaut! He's been hanging out here this entire time, just chilling in this island prison. We haven't seen him throughout the whole game, but they decided to poke their heads out once Apocalypse was dead. So just like the arcade classic we love, the X-Men are going back to space. Magneto must have a thing for space. Merry Christmas.